So here is the CBIS, CBIS daily chart here. And I've gotten a lot of questions over this the past couple of days. I just haven't been able to get to it. Uh, but after today, uh, they really came pouring in. A lot of people uh, wondering what's going on. You know, is the chart dead? Is Are things going to just turn for the worse? And so far, um, assuming I should take a step back, if you're a day trader and you're bought up here, then yeah, you should probably be out by now. But if you're in this for a longer term swing trade or just in it for the play overall, uh, then the chart's still okay. Um, and before you call me crazy, just let me explain myself. Um, because from a technical perspective, uh, the price is still uh, well above actually these key levels of support uh, that you want to see it hold. Uh, at, after today's day, things kind of transition over to more of a, instead of how high is this going to go, uh, kind of transition to uh, how what kind of uh, consolidation period are we going to go through? Is it going to be a healthy one, or is this the beginning of a much fall or much bigger uh, downfall? Uh, the good news with that or with charts is that'll be easy for us to determine. So that's where we're going to start here. And the first level of support that I want to point out uh, is right here. This is based on the previous high from back here on 113, and this level is at 0 0.043. So I'm going to get that changed to green for support. And I'm going to leave it skinny because, yes, this is a level of support, but if it can't hold up, uh, by no means it's the end of the world. A much more important level of support is this orange line here, which is the 200-day simple moving average. Uh, if you're not familiar with charts, there's kind of two moving averages that I call the godfather moving averages, meaning everybody pretty much has them on their charts. And one of them, and probably the, the uh, mac daddy of them all, is the 200-day simple moving average. And you can see that once the price broke above here, a nice move followed. And now that it's turned into a support, this is the ideal level that we want to see hold. But at the end of the day, within the grand scheme of things, and remember, this is for more of the overall players, as long as this purple line here holds, which is a 50-day simple moving average, then the overall chart will be okay. Now, how can I say that? Nobody would want to see it drop all the way down here. But if you're in this for the overall play, the overall chart, let's just suppose that it does drop all the way down here, find support before heading back up. Well, that would be where our set of lows is right here. Our previous set of lows is down here. So when we yank out our trend line drawler to draw in the trend line, by connecting the lows, you could see that we would still be able to draw an uptrend line. Now, again, if you're a day trader or a short-term swing trader, of course you don't want to see it drop all the way down there. This just pertains to the longer-term player. So uh, for those longer-term players, as long as the price can remain above this 50-day cent moving average, which you can see has started to curl upwards, uh, then the overall chart will still be, um, you know, in your favor. But again, that pertains to just, uh, you know, your strategy. If you're a day trader or something like that, then of course you don't want to see it fall down there. Uh, you'd be more concerned with uh, this support and the 200-day level of support. But these are going to be the three key levels of support. In terms of resistance, I'm not going to really talk too much about that just because, like I said at the beginning of the video, right now I think things have transitioned into what kind of consolidation are we going to go through. Uh, but resistance-wise, we're going to have one at uh, 0.067 and then the one from uh, yesterday at 0.071. Those will be the two levels of resistance. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get charts set up, straight ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. It is all free, no strings attached. We've been making some good money together on our alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was CBIS. Thanks for listening.